Rick, Marty, and Maddie arrive at the site where they're going to assist treasure hunter Hoppy Eubanks and his team in a drilling operation to locate millions in lost silver and gold from the historic San Saba mine. Based on previous electrical resistivity scans, it is geologist Kurt Champlin's suspicion that there is a void or possible mine entrance somewhere between 35 and 75 feet underground. Hey guys, I lost a mine somewhere around here. Has anybody found it? <laughs> Not yet. I have no idea. <laughs> Hoppy has brought us out to where he believes is the actual location of the Lost San Saba mine, where the Spanish pulled a lot of gold and silver out of the ground. If he's right, we'll expect to hit a void at the spot we're going to drill. If they hit that void, that means that could be the Lost San Saba mine. Hey, Hoppy, today's the day. I'm ready. We're going to drill this here hole and find this here Lost San Saba mine. Do that. <laughs> Perfect. The Laginas have arranged for a direct rotary rig for today's investigation. As the six inch wide sections of drill pipe are driven into the ground, the rig will also force air downward, bringing sediment or spoils to the surface through an exhaust nozzle. Geologist Kurt Champlin and the team will then sift through them, looking for any evidence of a possible mine shaft. So Kurt, what well, we're hoping to drill works its way through that limestone cap rock, and then we're gonna hopefully see a drop. Yeah, all right. The drill's going, it's exciting. We're analyzing the dirt and the soil as it's going through its depths, because if there's any significant changes or anything, it could indicate that they're on this void they've been looking for. Limestone? Not limestone, no. We're down to 40 feet. Very dense clay. What's that, glass? A little piece of glass? It's garlic. I don't know what that it's is. It's a garnet? It's a leaf. Oh, it's a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> we saw something green and shiny. I thought maybe it was an emerald. Yeah. How deep are you? 55. We went from 15 to 55 real fast. Oh. It's yeah. blowing. It's definitely blowing, but it's blowing nothing. Could that be a void? I wonder if that hole's taking air. Is it moving air or is it just pressuring up? So we've lost circulation, meaning the air is no longer coming up. It's no longer bringing the cuttings up. Lots of possible reasons for that. One that's hopeful, though, is that if we're starting to get into a cavity, and it really is a cavity, the air could leak off instead of coming back to the surface. There she goes. I love how it's kind of out. What do we got, Eric? So we're going down, uh, this will be 60 feet right here. There is water coming in either above or below a hard zone. It's not making a lot of cuttings, but it's uh, it's definitely blowing some mud out. The moisture down there sort of is a good sign. Why is that a good sign to you, Kurt? What do you like about that? If it was sand down below, water would have kept trickling down. Right. That sort of tells okay. me that there may be an impermeable water Okay. Zone. So it's hitting something hard and sitting something there. Hard and sitting there. And that could be the that could be the cap to that above the void the that we're looking for. Yeah. All right. Now that the drill has reached a depth of nearly 65 feet, the presence of moisture in the spoils may indicate a layer of rock that is causing water to pool. Could it be a limestone cap or possible ceiling for the lost San Saba mine? So right now, ideally, in the next couple of drills, you'd want to see that thing working hard, cutting through whatever it I'd might like be. I'd like to start seeing limestone powder. Got it. Coming out. Something just came out. Oh, that was powdery. Still getting a good airflow. Yeah, it's yeah. blowing. It's definitely blowing. Oh, now it's starting to spit up some material. We're 
we're going down to 65 right now. So we're 10 foot off the target. All right, 10 foot. So we're at 70 feet right now, five more feet. Five more feet, we'd like to see some white smoke maybe, right? We want that thing hitting something hard. Or some glitter. <laughs> or that. All right, this is the last one. Whew. This is it? This is it. I see a little, is that a little smoky? He just sit hard there, or is that just? Yeah, Lord. Yeah, I'd probably sit down on something. At this point, we have drilled 75 feet, and we've hit mostly sands all the way down. We we're hoping we would hit cap rock or some hard sediment, and at this point in time, we may be on top of where the mine shaft is. The bucket we've all been waiting for. Here it is. Come on, baby. This could be good. Here it comes. I'm going to truth, buddy. Oh, there you go. There's lime shade. Right there. That limestone. Isn't it? No. Soft. Soft clay again. Clayish. Well, we know where the mine isn't. It's not right there. <laughs> That's right. 